everyone and welcome to this video. I'm going to take you through a lower back stretch and strengthening routine just to help release any tight muscles through your lower back from posture or a lot of sitting throughout your day. So what you'll need is a nice thick mat here to support the back when we're on the floor, comfortable clothing and let's begin. So let's stand at the back of the mat here. We're going to roll our shoulders back, soften through the knees, take a breath in and as you exhale, rolling forward here, chin to chest, letting the arms relax forward. Good, and then exhale, coming back up. And as you do this, I really want you to draw in through your lower abdominals and then stretch open through the arms, opening your chest. Hold three, two, one, and forward again. This is just a nice way to mobilize the spine. And coming up slowly, drawing in through your lower abdominals and a nice breath in, stretch out through your chest, Pull the arms back. This is great if you've been doing computer work, just this stretch alone. Opening and back down. We're gonna take it to the floor right now and a nice little stretch out through our right leg. So if you're facing me, I've got my left leg out, you'll have your right leg out. Out to the side, sitting tall, both sit bones on the mat. Take a breath in and as you exhale, reach down towards that straight leg. So this here is getting the nice the area really nicely here at your lower back but to the side a little bit often we get quite stiff around our sides from falling forward in our posture so this is really nice for that keeping the knee on the floor here stretching down good you want to hold these stretches for 10 to 30 seconds good and the other side here bring the leg out sit tall shoulders back and then reach down towards the straight leg Good. And next what we're going to do is a nice hamstring stretch. Now hamstrings here at the back of your thighs often associated with tight lower backs as well. If you're tight here, you might be tight in the lower back. It's all connected. So we want to sit tall, flex our feet up to get the calves as well. Take a breath in and then stretch forward here, reaching towards the toes. Now, if you can't quite get there, that's okay. If you can get there or beyond, just make sure that you are pressing your knees down and your goal is to then keep progressing with that flexibility and doing this over time, you will get there. Coming forward. Flexibility and just releasing tight muscles is so important for your whole body's well-being. of course. We don't always wanna focus on strengthening and fitness. We wanna look at balance and flexibility too and mobility within our joints and muscles. And then bring one leg in. So last time we had our leg out to the side, we were turned. I want you to now face straight on towards that leg that's on the ground and reach down. And you'll find that it comes in a little bit more towards the center here for that stretch. Keeping the foot flexed, staying here for a few breaths, all that 10 to 30 second mark. Good. And swap sides. Lifting up, reach forward directly over the straight leg. I'm finding that these stretches are really great as well, six weeks postnatal after having uh, my second baby. My lower back has been a little bit more stiff than normal because I haven't been doing regular exercise. Wanted to wait till that six week mark to get the okay from the doctor, which I've got that now. So I'll be progressing slowly back into things myself. And then we're gonna bring the feet together here. So feet together, knees down, sit tall once again, gently pressing the elbows towards the knees here. Now, this isn't specifically a lower back stretch, it's an inner thigh stretch, but what I'm giving you here are muscles surrounding the pelvis and lower back so that you can get more balanced and limber in the pelvis, but also keep that stability. So we're gonna move on specifically to lower back strengthening in a moment as well. So you always wanna look at the surrounding muscles um, rather than just the particular pain point or issue that you have. Okay, then from here we're going to bring our hands under our legs, lifting up tall through the chest and then exhaling just a nice little rounded spine here and lift up again, inhale and exhale, bring it back. Good. So we're going to come down to the floor, hold on to the back of your legs. Now place one leg straight out, pull the other knee in and again keep that straight leg pushing down onto the mat firmly. Good, pulling the knee right in without 
changing the position of your back. Keep your shoulders open and then we bring it into a nice little rotational stretch. Bring the knee to the, towards the other side, keeping the shoulders down. You'll get a little bit of the hip here probably and your lower back as well, depending on where your areas of tightness are in your body. And then a nice hamstring stretch lifting up through there. Good. And the other side, bringing the knee in, hold. Good, and then into that nice rotational stretch, keeping both shoulders pressing to the mat. Bring your knee across. And then extending the leg up, good. Pressing the heel towards the ceiling. And then both knees in. So from here, we bring the knees right in, lift the pelvis off the ground, and then just do a little roll, a little rock forward and back here. Just to massage out the spine and also get that nice big stretch across the lower back area. Gentle here. And if you need a pillow to support your head, do get that as well. But we do wanna stay nice and tucked here. Good. And then we're gonna bring both knees, bring the feet to the floor, then both knees towards the side here. And you don't really need to press onto the legs. You can take your hands a little wider than the mat, open the shoulders and just go to where it's comfortable for you, stretching nicely through the lower back here with both knees, a little bit more intensive than the single leg uh, rotational stretch we just did. Good. And the other side here, gently roll it over to the other side keeping the knees together. So we wanna keep the knees in line with each other, not apart, okay? Gets into that area really well now. Good. And then I'm gonna roll onto our side, come up. I'm gonna give you just a couple more here. Onto our tummy now. So from here, feet just a little bit wider uh, than the hips drawing the stomach muscles in, pressing the hands under your shoulders. From here, we're going to pull our shoulder blades back, lift up into a small uplift. Some people call it cobra, a little half cobra here. Or if you're wanting more of a stretch, lift up higher off the ground, depending on where it feels right for you. Only go to where you're comfortable. Good, and a little stretch up again. So we're actually creating strength through our upper and lower back area here. Squeeze your glutes, your butt muscles, keep the legs down. Extend up if it feels right for you. And coming down. And one more time. Little lift up. Good. And back down slowly. Good, then bring the legs together Hands underneath the forehead, lift for five and down, and four and down, three, two, keep the legs down, and one. Good, arms back, lift again for five with the arms rotating around, and four, your hands face the floor, they go up and they turn around, three, two, and one, coming up into rest pose right now. Knees slightly apart, feet together, and extend the hands forward, allowing your head to drop down onto the mat. Good. So we've worked on extension and flexion of our spine there, which really helps with the mobility of your lower and upper back. And hopefully those stretches have felt quite good for you at the start on your back. Now last one, bring one leg across the other knee, bring the opposite arm over that bent knee, and now lift up and gently turn. Good. Getting that balance between rotations, uh, strength work and stretches is what you should focus on if you're wanting to maintain a healthy back but also the rest of your body. Good. And then crossing the legs, sitting tall, open through the chest. 
Inhale, lifting up through your arms. And exhale down, sit tall. And lifting up, draw your core in. Sitting tall here and down. Good. Hope you find benefit from this routine today. Let me know how you go. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. Check out the other playlists. And I will see you on the next video.